Thursday morning, everybody. It is the 19th of March. Uh, today is the feast day of Joseph, husband of Mary, uh, as well. It's a special two-year-old's birthday today. So happy birthday, Henry. I uh, wish we could all be there to give you some uh, loving, but social distancing. So but happy birthday to you. Uh, our gospel today is from Matthew, verse, chapter 1. Verses 16, 18 through 21, and 24, so it jumps around just a bit. But this is one of my favorite passages, uh, the St. Joseph one. And I've talked about this before in a challenge, and the comfort still remains here from this, this message, from this gospel that God gives us. Uh, St. Joseph, a man who had his own plans, a man who had his own dreams, his own desires, uh, and it was all taken away from him, uh, changed. And again, as I said before, um, he did what he thought he was supposed to do. And God says, no, Joseph, I'm going to give you some new dreams. I'm going to give you some new plans. And Joseph accepted those and came St. Joseph. Um, so, it, you know, in these days right now where everything, it seems, upended, all our plans have come to naught. Um, I see people whining on Facebook, no offense, but because they can't get their hair done, can't get their nails done. You know, our plans, other people are more worried about more significant things like their health. Our plans have gone kaflui. And I think St. Joseph is our patron saint of, all right, let's adapt. How can we adapt? You know, how can I adapt? You know, I have one way being a priest, you know, being connected with people in a direct way. Now, how, how can I adapt to make that happen uh, differently? Um, uh, how can we, as Catholics, uh, where coming to the community it is essential, but we can't right now, how do we adapt to, to contain that, that community? All kinds of, of ways that we can open ourselves, I guess, to adaptation, out of change. Uh, people will be home now with their kids, uh, with their loved ones or quarantined, um, what can we do? You know, yesterday, Virginia, I had a, uh, a Zoom session with a couple, a number of kids, uh, and it was fun. I stayed on for a little bit, and uh, I just watched them, and, you know, kids are more natural interacting at this than us. Um, last night, my support group, we met uh, via Zoom, and uh, it was okay, I, you know, uh, I think we in our late 40s, early 50s are maybe a little bit less adaptable to that, but we're still doing it. But I think we got to look how we can do this. Um, we can't let ourselves, I can't let myself just be drawn into, oh, you know, my kind of my self-pity mode or my let my sadness take over, my fear take over. Still need to be like Joseph. Get up, do what is good, build community. All right? So hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully you guys all can find that out today. Um, again, I'll be on streaming live the Mass at 8, 8 o'clock this morning. And then at 9.30 uh, this weekend, Joseph DeRosa, our music instructor, will be uh, doing a mini concert starting at 9.15 on Sunday. So uh, come on to Facebook Live, hoping that, again, the... Uh, the uh, Website can uh, contain that as well. Uh, we're making, we're trying to get through here, uh, improve our technology use. So I'll see you there. You guys take care of yourselves. All right. If you need anything, let us know at the parish. Okay. Take care. Bye.